All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Backyard Buckets. Today, we're going to be doing a full first-round mock draft. Uh, the draft is in 12 days. That's it's exciting. Um, very exciting. Today, we're going to be using my big board on Fanspo, which I believe is formerly NBA Trade Center or something like that. Uh, but it's the best from what I can find. That's where we did the last one. Last one did pretty good, so we're going to be doing the full first round. Last time it was just a lottery. This time it's a full first round. So starting off, everybody knows what this one's going to be, unless they trade it. Uh, there have been rumors of them trading it, but as of now, it's going to be Cade Cunningham going number one overall to the Detroit Pistons. Um, Pistons won the lottery, won Cade Cunningham. Not not too much to talk about. We're going to try to keep them brief uh, today because we're doing 30 picks. Try not to make it an extremely long video. So Cade going number one to the Pistons. Not too much to talk about there. Now, the last mock draft I did, we had Evan Mobley going to, to the Rockets. This time we're going to go Jalen Green, number two to the Rockets. Um, one, switch it up, but two, Jalen Green could be the number one prospect in this draft. Cade's floor is just too high for that to actually happen. But Jalen Green, he... It's not insane to think that he's going to be the best player in this draft. And he's probably got the second best chance to be the best player in this draft. He can score from wherever, whenever, however he wants. It, insane athleticism. Jalen Green, he's going to be going number two here to the Rockets. We'll see what they do with John Wall, if they can move him. Uh, Kevin Porter Jr. said he wants to play some point guard. So, uh, we'll see. Um, now, if you want to hear more about the Evan Mobley versus Jalen Green argument, I made a whole video on it. Go check it out. Now, at number three, we got Evan Mobley going to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, he's really, there's Tier 1A and there's Tier 1B. Tier 1A, Cade, Jalen Green, Evan Mobley, Tier 1B, Jalen Suggs, Jonathan Kaminga. Mobley's going to go here to the Cavs, and they have now flexibility with what they want to do with Jared Allen. Um, I mean, you could reach for Kaminga, but don't really... See that? Just go ahead and get Evan Mobley. He's a beast. Um, number four, Toronto. They're going to get their franchise point guard. Um, he's the best player on the board here by far. Uh, Kyle Lowry's gone. Good as gone. Uh, franchise legend, but he is going to be gone. So we're going to go Jalen Suggs here to the Raptors at four. Now, remember, these are all my opinions, so make sure to comment down below. Tell me what you think you would have done different. Tell me what I should have done different. Uh, we'll be having a discussion, a friendly discussion about it. Um, number five, Orlando. Just about every mock draft I've seen has Kaminga going at five to the Magic, and that's not going to change here. Kaminga five to the Magic. It's, I mean, he's the last, he's the last prospect of tier one, and they're going to get a good young developmental piece for their rebuild. Number six, Scotty Barnes. To the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, now the Thunder have a million picks in the next few drafts. Uh, right here. They could trade up. I think they should trade up. Try to get Cade. Try to get Jalen Green. Try to get Evan Mobley. Um, right here though. They're going to go Scotty Barnes. We're not going to do trades. I don't even know how to do trades in this. Uh, so Scotty Barnes at 6 to the Thunder. It's the best. He's very versatile. You can do a lot of stuff with him. It's the best player left on the board. So, Scotty Barnes at 6. Now, at 7, the Warriors, I think they will move from here. I don't think they will make this pick. Um, therefore, I think this prospect that I'm going to take here will slide down the board, uh, partly due to how old he is, partly due to, his, due to his frame, but you can kind of see where I'm going with it. Davion Mitchell at 7, going to the Warriors. Um, and... I like Davion Mitchell. A lot of he's kind of hit or miss if people like him or not. Uh, but I like him as a prospect a lot. Uh, now, if you're the Warriors, I see where you're coming from, or not the Warriors necessarily because they're in win now mode. They got Steph and Clay. They're not getting any younger. Draymond's not getting any younger. They need to go ahead and win now. Davion's already 22, two years older than Wiseman. So go ahead and pick him up and run with it. Uh, so that's what I say if they pick it seven um, at eight. The Magic. Best player left, I think, here is James Booknight. So, I'll have him take James Booknight. 
are going to get a forward in Kaminga, get a guard in James Booknight. They can absolutely fill it up. Uh, throw him in there next to Marco Fultz, who is a point guard. Uh, Cole Anthony, point guard. RJ Hampton's a shooting guard, so he'll be probably taking some of his minutes. Gary Harris and Terrence Ross, you can move them down. James Booknight is a pick here. Very, very good score. Not efficient necessarily, but a very good score. Number nine, the Kings. Uh, now, right here, they could go Kai Jones, but I feel like they're going to want somebody kind of to be the, not necessarily Harrison Barnes replacement, but the next Harrison Barnes form. Uh, the guy that can move them from the three to the four, play both very, very well, uh, can get downhill in transition, or can get downhill and can go in transition, coast to coast. Jalen Johnson, out of Duke, Duke for 10 games, but still out of Duke, so that's who I'm going to have him take here at nine. Uh, now, you could go Kai Jones, but I'm not sure. There's a lot of stuff that's going to happen in Sacramento this offseason, I feel like. So, yeah, Jalen Johnson there um, to the Kings. Now, at 10, the Pelicans. Going to go ahead and pick up a 3 and D guard in Moses Moody. Uh, they're going to move on from Eric Bledsoe. Lonzo might be on the way out. Uh, they got to kill Alexander Walker, but they need some more shooting around their big guy in Zion. Uh, so, they're going to go ahead and take Moses Moody. Out of Arkansas, six foot six freshman uh, who can fill it up uh, and play defense very well. At eleven, my Charlotte Hornets here. Um, if Kai Jones is on the board, I don't see how we can pass him up. There's also other interesting options here: Franz Wagner, Singun, uh, Josh Giddy, even. Now, uh, don't really want him. This is my big board, by the way. So your big board most definitely looks a little bit different than mine. Everybody's is different. Uh, but, yeah, right here, we're going Kai Jones. I feel like he's the number two big in the draft. Um, he can do so much. He can even shoot the three a little bit. He's shown a lot of flashes of potential offensively. Um, and just his athleticism on the defensive end of things is going to be great. It's going to be great. I feel like we're finally going to get our center. We'll probably get somebody in free agency to be a center. But right there, Kai Jones to be our future center, hopefully. Running and catching lobs from the mellow ball. At 12, the Spurs... I had him go big last time. Then I watched some film on this guy, and they're going to go big again. He is a bit undersized, but he's a sneaky good athlete, great passer. Um, he might have to play the four. Uh, don't know if he'll be able to play the five in the NBA, but he very well could. So Alperin Singun, um, point forward, going to the Spurs there, point center, really. Going to the Spurs at 12. 13. Uh, Pacers, do they go Giddy? Do they go Johnson? Do they go Wagner? Do they go Kispert? That's the end of Tier 2 here. Uh, tier 3 down here starting with Jared Butler. Uh, but, hmm. I did do a practice one of these last night. Uh, I am going to have him go Franz Wagner uh, at 13. Just as, you know, another wing that can score. McDermott's gone. They don't have really cap space to bring him back. Oh, they could bring him back, but he's going to want a big-time deal. He's going to get paid because he can shoot the rock. So Franz Wagner to come in and be that wing off the bench that can shoot it, can do a little bit of everything. I, I think he's a lot like Gordon Hayward. So Franz Wagner there at 13 to the Pacers. Now here at 14, and the fit is just perfect. Corey Kispert, one of the best shooters in the draft, probably the best catch-and-shoot shooter in the draft, going to a team with, some of the best shooters in the draft, or not in the draft, but in the history of the NBA. And uh, it's going to be a match made in heaven. Warriors picking up two guys that shot at over 40% from three this year. Now, at 15, the Wizards. They're in an interesting spot, and uh, I am going to have them go Josh Giddy. He's got the most upside here by far, although you could argue Keon Johnson. I'm going to go Josh Giddy. And have him, you know, be the backup one. Uh, or eventually, he there could be like a LaMelo Ball situation where he comes in. I don't know if he replaces Westbrook, but he takes some of his minutes. I don't know. Uh, but Josh Giddy there, best uh, player left on the board, at least in my opinion. Now here at 16, and this one's kind of an easy pick, uh, Keon Johnson, the final player left of Tier 2. Um, they got a guard earlier, got a point forward. Now they're going to get a shooting guard. They can also shoot the three. And play defense with insane athleticism. So, win there for the Thunder. Although, I, I do, like, as I mentioned, I think the Thunder should move up. Um, don't know if it'll happen. 
now here at 17. And this is an interesting Memphis Grizzlies roster. This is one of the teams I wasn't too sure what to do with. Uh, they got a lot of guards. Brandon Clark, Jaron Jackson Jr. Their contracts are up. So is Justice. They got Valanchunas. But I mean, they are a win now team. Their backup point guard, Tyus Jones, um, they're good at the backup guards. I mean, they're probably good really everywhere. So right here, you're just saying best player available. And I'm actually going to go Isaiah Jackson. Um, uh, I don't know, this is an interesting one. Memphis fans, y'all comment down below. Tell me what y'all want because I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I mean, Dylan Brooks played great. Kyle Anderson played great. Ja Morant, he played really good. Uh, Jaron wasn't, wasn't Jaron, but, I mean, he's coming off injury. Valanciunas was all right. I mean, I'm thinking Valanciunas is a big bruiser in the post. So go get a guy like Isaiah Jackson. He can't really shoot the three, so your bigs aren't going to have very much spacing. That's something you're going to have to worry about. But you do have Xavier Tillman, who can space it out a little bit, I believe. Um, so Isaiah Jackson, or at least from what I saw, he could. Isaiah Jackson is going to be the pick there. Get an athletic big to pair with Valanciunas. 18, the Thunder. Hmm. Hope with 34 they can snag JT Thor, God of Thunder. That'd be awesome. Um, but here, uh, it's either, I mean, you're going off potential. So it's either Nashon Highland or Cam Thomas for me. Uh, you could go like Garuba. I am going to have him go. Ooh. I see Cam Thomas as more of a three, really, at the next level. Maybe a two. Um, two that just shoots it the whole time. They haven't gotten a point guard yet. They've gotten a wing. Well, they do have Scotty Barnes. So I am going to have him go. Cam Thomas. Um, you know, he would really benefit from an Oklahoma City Thunder type fit where he could shoot a lot um, in there next to Shea. Lou Dort. Uh, so I am going to go Cam Thomas. Um, and if you're the Thunder, you're happy with that. Getting Cam Thomas, Keon Johnson, Scotty Barnes, three really good prospects. As I mentioned, I feel like the Thunder will trade up. Um, or they should. They have so many first-round picks. They have too many, almost. Uh, 19, the Knicks. I think they're going to go back up point guard. I think this is where Jared Butler comes off the board. Um, I really like Jared Butler as a prospect, especially after March Madness. So Butler there uh, with Derrick Rose. His contract being up, they need to bring in more guards. Uh, they got Emmanuel quickly, although he could be more of a two going forward. So, yeah, we're going to go with Jared Butler out of Baylor. 20, Hawks. Hmm. Now, Lou Williams is gone. Probably. I mean, they don't have that much cap space to bring him back. John Collins could be gone. So do you go with a big and use Garuba? Or do you really just take 3 and D? Or do you go combo guard and Trey Mann? They can score it. Uh, or Nashon Highland. Uh, there's a lot of interesting picks. Another one, Atlanta fans. Comment down below. Tell me what you want to do with the 20th overall pick. Um, right here is between, for me, Trey Mann and Nashon Highland. And I feel like losing Lou Williams, you're going to need that guy off the bench who can come in and just score the rock. Um, and that's why I'm going to go to Nice John Highland. He's a beast. Um, he's probably not going to go at 20, but I think he should. He's my 20th overall prospect. He's I feel like he's a beast. He's getting really slept on. 21, the Knicks are back up, and I guess they should probably go big. Uh, they went guard earlier. They could take a flyer on Zaire Williams, uh, but Garuba, he's got insane potential. Uh, at the power forward position, so I am going to have him go with Usman Garuba. A lot of guards here on the board. So, yeah, Garuba going there. 22. Um, I had heard something that the Lakers did have a draft prom tr pr Whoa. What am I trying to say? The Lakers had a draft promise to Chris Duarte. Um, so, and that is definitely a possibility because Duarte would help him out a lot. Uh, so, that's who actually we're going to take. It's Chris Duarte for the Lakers, uh, 3 and D guy um, who can actually absolutely shoot it. He is 24, so he fits their timeline. So, yeah, Duarte there. Now the Rockets. They took Jalen Green. Got a lot of point guards. So, I'm actually going to have him take a wing. Ah, Kessler Edwards. I don't know. 
Why is the big board so messed up? Oh, it's in alphabetical order. Okay. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I'm going to have him go... Uh, I don't know. I'll go Zaire Williams here. They have back-to-back -back picks. So we'll take a flyer on Zaire Williams. You have the ability to do that. Now, because, like, they got... They need a big, but there's, like, no more bigs. They run sharp, maybe. It's probably going to be Dayron. Isaiah Todd could be a sleeper. Sorry, these are like way out of order uh, with the names. Just because I didn't finish the entire big board. Um, Actually, we're going to go JT Thor, probably. He's the best big left. He's got a, a very a lot of potential. Um, but they don't need to be tapped into by a lot of minutes. A lot of shot attempts. So we're going to go JT Thor there to the Rockets. A lot of guards now left on the board. Um, and this one I think is the perfect pick. Losing Rondo, you're going to need that facilitator off the bench, Sharif Cooper. Boom. Uh, I said he's 6'4". Not sure about that. 26. Uh, Trey Man. I think he's the best pick here left that the Nuggets could have. I mean, Trey Murphy, not Trey Man. Excuse me. Too many trays. Uh, 3 and D, 6'8". I feel like that's if the Thunder... Or, God, I can't talk. If the Nuggets can get him, they're going to get him. Uh, if they have the ability to. And he's like this far ahead of everybody else. It's between him and Trey Mann. Uh, but I'm going to go Trey Murphy. Uh, 27. Could be losing Spencer Dinwiddie. Uh, Bruce Brown. Could be gone. Blake's gone. Mike James. You need another guard off the bench. You see where I'm going with this. Trey Mann to the Nets. I uh, slipped a little bit. 28. The 76ers probably could use another shooter. So who's the best shooter left? It's going to be between Jaden Springer and Kessler Edwards. Um, hmm. I'm probably going to go, I don't know. Who's next, Phoenix? Phoenix? I'm going to go Kessler Edwards here to the 76ers, picking up a steal, a uh, guy that can shoot a little bit, at least from what I've seen, and he's got a good mid-range game, kind of will translate over to the NBA, I feel like. Uh, 29 here, the Suns, uh, hear me out, they're losing, you probably don't even have this guy on your draft board, uh, but I watched him at West Virginia, I liked him a lot, uh, some about 6'2 guards that can shoot the three and defend, and can score, campaign, free agent. Uh, he's going to be probably getting a bag. He's played himself into getting a bag. Don't know if the Suns are going to be able to bring him back. And this is saying that the Suns can't bring him back. Chris Paul, his contract's also over. Also, I feel like they'll be able to bring back Chris Paul. Miles McBride to the Phoenix Suns. 30, Utah. Best player left is Jaden Springer. So that's who I'm going to have him go with. Um, he's a lot better than really anybody else here. Uh, also 3 and D. So Jaden Springer there at 30. So this is my... First round mock draft. Probably a lot different than yours. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, with all that being said, that is going to be it for today's video. Please make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Uh, helps us out in the YouTube algorithm a lot. Comments help as well. So if you got anything to say, help me out. Um, if I made a mistake with your team, let me know down in the comments below so I can fix it by the time the next one comes out. And with that being said, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching.